Hey guys, I just wanted to show you uh, what I did in Gaia here, um, how you can get this mountain. Actually, these are two mountains. Uh, I used transform, but I'm going to show you. So I did basically a, a mountain, uh, two mountains, and um, yeah, play with the scale and the seat, of course, and then uh, I used bulky. Uh, you can down below, you can play with the levels uh, and um, yeah, to get more interesting uh, results in more detail this mountain but it's gonna change with erosion if you use erosion you get these nice sediments and they, a lot of details are really like that erosion is always like something I always do with a uh, yeah regular strength but uh, transform is really a game changer here because I wanted to have as I said two mountains so play with the position here and I wanted to have like a mountain on the right and the mountain on the left um, yeah so I just copied that mountain just changed the seed I have the blending on add and I just use the combine uh, node and uh, yeah it's a different mountain same scale approximately same scale bulky as well and uh, just transformed it to on the left side of the plane then you have something messy like that uh, but it's really important that, that you have the, the add blend because you want to have you want to add the left mountain uh, you can see it's just 50% add so make sure uh, it's always 100% because you want to have the full result and um, yeah, this is basically uh, like um, the first part of the mountain here and um, now it's getting really interesting. We have the snowfall here. If you just click on it, you can see you get these nice sediments. It's not a color map. Remember, it's not a color map. You get these sediments here and it's just the geometry. So yeah, and now it goes to texturing. Uh, I wanted to have like the flow, which is really for me really necessary to mask out where the snow goes. Oh, like we have when you have the snow and the slope and I just try to combine it uh, play with fall off play with the max value on the right side and then uh, yeah I, I spent some time to get the mask right in my, so in my opinion and uh, then you just com combine it with the set map and uh, yeah try to get a color like something dark and something white but it doesn't really matter for the rock because I have other textures for the rock uh, which I will uh, show you uh, so down here I have the textures uh, node and uh, then I have a, the growth node. Yeah, just combine that uh, with a like interesting like rockish, uh, like rocky, sandy uh, cliff color. Like I went for something like brown, something like that. I mean this is just the mask as you can see. Uh, yeah, two different textures combined to get some interesting shapes on the on the cliffs. Uh, this is masked, masked out so yeah if you just see the set map this is just for the rock and um, yeah after that uh, you can see the snow here and I just had to combine these two to mask uh, to mask it out and I only have the rock texture and uh, yeah this is basically it um, yeah so we have like uh, two mountains I think it looks pretty decent uh, with the background using a blender I'm gonna use it in blender I also would like to make like more tutorials maybe on how to how to do blender and also by the way I just wanted to tell you how you can export that you can actually export uh, the snowfall uh, I mean in this case it's the snowfall it's like the, the uh, last node for your geometry so you can add a measure just connect that and then mark for export right right click and mark for export then you have actually on the right side the mesh uh, which is pure geometry, but I don't do that. I just use the displacement texture So I just go to snowfall and just uh, mark for export Which will give you all the information you have snowfall, but actually it's it's more than just one uh, Displacement textures textures a diff several displacement textures. so you need to find the right one. I think it's called just snowfall and um, Yeah, then uh, you have these textures here and you just go to the last node which is in my case combined because I want to have this result so you, so you click on this and mark for export as well and then uh, yeah I just use like uh, yeah PNG for the color map and for the displacement I use EXR make sure it's 4k if you have the paid version make for sure it's 4k and yeah this is basically how I do uh, my snowy mountain and um, yeah, I'm gonna make some 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 more with it, with this preset, and try to make some 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 good looking environments. If you want to support me, make sure you visit my art station. You can also visit me on Udemy if you. There will be future lessons if you're interested. So yeah, peace out.